Hello there! I don't know how many of you will get that um, Star Wars reference. Uh, zoom in a little bit here. Uh, there we go. So, I I made a, a... Somebody was asking about cleaning pens, so I thought I'd show how I clean my pens. As you can see, there's all sorts of paraphernalia here. Um, I've got some... Let me see, where should we start? Okay. Obviously there's different sort of pens, there's cartridge converters, which is the one I'm cleaning, that's that Durafold there. This Santini Nonagon is a piston filler. Uh, which, uh, the reason I've, I've brought that out because I have another type of piston filler. Basically there's the pens that you can clean and the pens that ah, you have to keep screwing up and down or for instance with a sack based pen, this is a Eclipse BCHR oversize which Kevin Prime amazingly restored for me. It's a hundred years old, it was a gift from my dad. See? And to fill those, well it's a sack pen, you can't really take you can't take the nib you can't keep taking the nib off every time you want to fill. Um and it's a lever fill, so you have to keep going out, in, out. And this can take an amount of time. It's it can be quite uh, annoying but I, I fill my uh, basically I clean my pens after every fill unless I am refilling it up with the same ink and continuing to use it so I, I go through this after every time I don't have that many pens inked up at once uh, with the nonagon which is a piston filler it's the reason I said it's similar to the socket because I can't take this pen apart so it's basically twisting up and down and up and down and up and down until it fills. Um, just make the point now, I previously said I use the sink but I don't anymore because I realise I work on cars as well so there could be contamination in the sink. Uh, also you might want to get some distilled water. Um, the water from my taps is fine but from some taps I think it's called hard water and it can get calcium build up and that wouldn't be good for the pens. So I use plastic cups like that. You might have to go to the sink one or two times to change the water. You can use as many cups as you want, but there. We have a blunt syringe. That's for cleaning piston pens and converters that you can get in. An ear bulb. We'll see how that works in a minute. That's for cleaning sections. This, I keep these little pen sample containers. Put a little bit of kitchen roll in. So what, you'll see how I, what I use this for. When I've finished cleaning the pen, I put the nib in there and it just draws whatever's left in the feed out, be it water or a little bit of ink. And that just finishes the process. And um, to stop it falling over, I just use this clamp. So I'll just put that in there actually. So we're ready. Now the reason I have this other piston pen, this is a Pelican M250 and you must do this very gently but this and my aurora piston pen the nib unit comes off it's great this so you can clean out the nib unit and feed itself and you can clean the um the barrel i use that squirty thing and then i dry it with uh, kitchen roll and you can do a proper full clean on that because of that i think that's great but as with the nonagon, my hand's shaking again. Put that in, and I never do it over tight. Just snip it up there. For instance, put that over there. The nonagon, I can't do that. It's sealed in, so it's a bit more tedious to clean. So are the sack pens. But for today, this is my Durafold Centennial. The first thing I do when I've undo it it's quite a long thread is I run it on I run the, I run both that and the converter under the sack like a, under the sack honestly under the tap like I say my water's fine I can do that so um, and then what I do is I take it apart let's see if we can do this with without do it on the camera without it like that a bit. There we go. Oh, let's get some water in. 
I'm really sorry about my hand shaking. This will probably go everywhere as well. And I squirt up there until it comes out clear. Just pull that up to the top. Do the same again. That's clear, that's clean now. So you see it's as easy as that. Just flick out the rest. Easy as that, that's done now. That's clean. Just like that. And for the we'll fill up our bulb for the let's go and get this if you can see. Oops. This is why you shouldn't do this when your hands are shaking. Put it into the section and it blows through. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? Let me see if I can do it in the other angle. Hold on, without... There we go. And we keep doing that. That's getting quite clear now. A little bit. It's not too bad. That's probably enough. You could go a bit more, but... And then... Get a bit of spare paper. Get a bit of spare paper. Just shove it in the top there to dry the section gently. You don't want to push too hard like that. And then, put this out of the way before I spill it. We'll pop it in our sample container with... And I'll leave it there for about 5-10 minutes till it's got everything out. And then, I might, and then I'll, I might go through that again just to make sure because you don't always get all the, all the ink out the first time. Now if I was struggling with that, I would soak the, the nib unit. I use this from Monteverde. Um, I'd soak it in that, and then, but you have to rinse it out really, really well because you want that out of the pen for next time you ink it. But that works very well. I very rarely had a pen that I've... I've needed a ultrasonic cleaner for using that stuff but I don't really have to use that stuff very often because if you are good with flushing out your pens after every inking you don't really you shouldn't have to use that stuff like that although I found stuff like black ink or red inks uh, can really really struggle to get out sometimes so I find this useful uh, on a flush depending on what inks in and how long you've left the pen as well Anyway, so I hope that helps you all out. Um, that's how I do it. Uh, some pens are easier than others, unfortunately. As you've seen, um, I particularly like Pelicans because of the way the nib unit comes out. But um, some of them you just have to persevere. Put some music on, <laughs> sit around doing that. Like I say, you'll have to get more water. Um, uh, but it's easy as that. It's not difficult. It can just be a little bit of a chore sometimes, but it's important to practice good pen um, cleanliness. You'll get more life out of your pen, it'll be more enjoyable to use, you won't have problems with it. So uh, I hope that helps and uh, enjoy your cleaning. Hi again, uh, I'm meant to add, <laughs> this is what you get for having a weak brain. These converters, not all of them, they're dead easy to clean anyway, but not all of them, but some of them, some of them are, are glued. But some of them, like this Parker one, older Parker one, I've got newer ones that don't do this, will unscrew and come apart and you can give them a proper clean and even get a little bit of kitchen roll down there. Not all of them remember, so, you know, if it's struggling to come off, it's probably glued. But some of them unscrew like that so it makes them even easier to use so there we go